Hi everybody, welcome to Quarantine Parenting. Thanks for being here. Let's sit back, let's get comfy, and let's chat. If you are joining me for the first time, my name is Dr. Courtney Pegram and I'm an education consultant. I created these videos, super scrappy, unedited, raw, and just all me. <laughs> so I did this because I wanted to not only provide you resources, insight, ideas, and share the stuff that I've learned, but also for me, so that I can keep myself accountable for showing up and then trying to find solutions to some of the problems I'm facing. So this platform is for us. So thanks for being here. So this week we're focused on motivation. <sighs> I hear that word and I just wanna go blah. I, I am not motivated. You know, this morning I got out of bed, got my daughter set up for breakfast, got her going. Really, we were ready for online school and then made a left turn directly to my office, which is also a guest bedroom, and just laid on the guest bed. Why? Because I just didn't want to adult today. I was done. And it was only eight. So you're going to have those days, right? So what I did is I set a timer, you know, me and my timers, for 30 minutes and I gave myself that space to just sit there, to read, to nap, to just be there and not feel guilty about it. Because if I would have like beat myself up for like going back to bed or going to lay down again, what would that accomplish? I would just felt guilty, bad, upset with myself, disappointed, all those negative emotions that I don't want to carry with me. Why? Because I got enough crap I'm carrying. I mean, by 2 p.m., I've literally probably ripped the head off my husband, yelled at my daughter, you know, and quit homeschool. But, you know, by 2.33, I have to apologize to everybody and pick up where homeschool is. So the idea is like, let's stop putting this additional pressure on us. and Let's start thinking about how we really are and giving some space for us to be okay with not being okay. To give yourself some space, that's where we're like, well, how do you do that? You gotta let it be for that moment in time, but also you've gotta pick yourself up at some point. So after a half hour, I got up and I forced myself to shower. Um, why? Because it woke me up, it got me going, and I had to change from uh, one pair of pajamas to another. I also committed to working out. So I did not want to do it. I was like, tooth and nail, I'm not going to do this. Like I was trying to find excuses. I was cooking lunch for my daughter. I, you know, I could have done a gazillion. I really didn't want to work out. The reason that I did work out and what motivated me is because it was a Zoom workout, other people were showing up and I had already said on Instagram that I was going to go. I didn't want to disappoint the teacher. Do you think I do it? It's boxing. So I don't think my boxing coach made a difference if I showed up or not, but because I said it, I actually showed up. And you know what? It was great to see everyone's faces. I mean, I totally obsessed with my boxing coach. I think she's amazing. So every time I see her, I just smile and it makes me feel better. So I would have missed that opportunity if I would given myself an excuse and not showed up. So how I keep myself motivated is I tell other people what I'm doing because I'm more likely to do it then. This works for you, use it. If this works for your kids, use it. So it's about putting it out there and having someone hold you accountable. And, and that helps me get through the small stuff. So what I've done is my, I just have now two or three things I gotta get done. So you can call them your weeds or your, your dark clouds, your things that bring you down, like you don't wanna do, or like, I'm just thinking of like taxes, bills, you know, for me, it's like administrative duties. I'm really not good at that and I don't like it. Um, or, or like when I'm, I, some of you know I'm an online, well now I'm online professor. <laughs> but, uh, you know, grading is not my favorite thing. It's mundane, but I love giving feedback or interacting with my students. So find the stuff that like, ugh, that just brings you down. And don't fill your calendar in one day with all that stuff. Because then you'll say, well, if I get it done, then I can move on. Well, yes, but most likely you're not going to get it all done because it's too much. So split it up, right? So I would recommend you have 
two, maybe three weeds a day. A weed is something you don't want to do, but once you pull it out, you feel so much better, right? So find two or three weeds a day to do. And once you've accomplished those things, it put it, write them down, right? And write weeds so you don't think it's your to-do list. And once you've accomplished them, you'll feel so much better. So the idea is like giving yourself smaller tasks that you don't enjoy and accomplishing in them to then move on to the stuff that you do enjoy. Um, so that can come from work, from stuff that you're doing at home, whatever. But don't overload your day with weeds. It doesn't feel good. And we're all stuck in a, in a house, some small houses, some big houses, with the people that you love, or you might be alone. So don't, make, don't intentionally make your day crappy if you can make it better. I also want to leave you with this today. Uh, it was one of my best friends. I we FaceTime yesterday, and she was the best part of my day. Like I literally like, one I just like was locked in my, in my, in my my closet talking to her because I just needed some me time. Um, and she said, she's extremely wise and um, brings a lot of insight. And what she said that stuck with me is, how do you want to remember yourself during quarantine? When this is all over, said and done, and you know, what do you want to remember about this? Do you want to remember how stressed out about the stuff that you weren't doing? Or do you want to remember how you got closer to your daughter, how you figured out homeschool, how you finally organized your house and unpacked that last box for moving? How do you want to remember this time? And that made me think twice about this. I'm like, huh, you know, that's a good spin. How do I want to be remembered and how do I want to remember this time? I was like, I definitely don't want to be remembered by the mom that constantly yells and can't keep it together. I want to be remembered that I bring humor every day, that I'm human, uh, that I make mistakes. And I want to remember this time that I did get super close to my daughter. I've mastered homeschool, right? I got all the things that I was putting off because I never had time to do to do. And that for me, I'd be like, yeah, I could have, I could say I rock quarantine. And the reason is not to like be perfect at it or to like make it enjoyable all the time. But when looking back at the time, do you want to remember how stressed out, depressed, sad you were? Or do you want to remember how every day you got out of bed and that was a huge thing for you and you were proud of yourself. And if that's all you did that day, that's okay, but you still did it, right? So think about that and maybe that can give you some more insight on the behaviors that are occurring, the things that you're doing, because when we look back at our past, you can't redo or go through something again. Well, hopefully we don't have to ever redo or go through this again. But I would like to think about myself in a positive way when I look back at this time, that I gave insight, that I learned to be patient, that I explored all these different emotions. And then I taught my daughter to read and write. Like that's winning. <laughs> anyway, so I, I wanted to leave that with you because it's stuck with me and it's still sitting with me. And I wanna explore that a little more because that that's like inside motivation. So intrinsic motivation, what brings us to do things, right? So we can't always pull from external factors to keep us motivated, sometimes we have to look inside. So I want to leave you with that today. So I hope what this was insightful. Um, happy hump day, because it's Wednesday here. Um, and let me know if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or you want me to explore a topic with you, because I am here for you. Thanks for joining me. I am super grateful. Have a great day. Bye.